Hello and welcome to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Vorent, here with a guide on how to take Granada, the tiny little province, tiny three province country at the bottom of Iberia, and turn it into a mighty Andalusia that rules a very large amount of the world, including a lot of the new world. So, the first thing I noticed when playing Granada, and this is a tough strategy, I did a Let's Play on this, so if you want to see how I did it, go watch it there. Uh, first three episodes are silent, I will warn you. The trick to playing Granada now, some people would say you should ally France, it doesn't work. The strategy now is to ally the Ottomans. Improve relations with them as much as you can, and when they go to attack, usually Kandar, they will weaken their army enough that you should be able to get an alliance. You know, diplomatic reputation advisor and all that to guarantee it. Also, ally yourself to Tunis and Morocco if you can. Uh, Tunis is the better one to ally usually. Morocco tends to want your land eventually. Plus, Morocco also tends to want a couple of the Iberian provinces you need for the Re-Reconquesta achievement. These two they are particular fans of. Um, in order to get the Re-Reconquesta achievement, you have to conquer all of Iberia and form Andalusia from Granada, which is really not that hard to form Andalusia. Conquering all of Iberia is the real challenge. I also got hard bargaining, propagate uh, religion through the Moluccas, but you can do that as any mass Muslim nation that colonizes. So once you ally the Ottomans, it's then a matter of um, staying alive, uh, developing probably the Renaissance in Granada down here, uh, keeping up a strong military, drilling your military if you can. Um, if you get, if you see the opportunity, another option you should try and do is invade Tlemcen here, located, of course, right across the Strait of Gibraltar, Gulf of Almera region. And if you're lucky, you can invade them and pretty much vassal them. But if you can't, take a few provinces, give some to Tunis and Morocco if necessary to uh, increase your favors with them in your alliance. And essentially leave a fort down here in Tlemcen for uh, that's a necessity. Um, because if in the event of a Castilian invasion, of course Castile is the most likely one to attack you, they will take your Granada fort. And if you don't have any other forts, that will get them close to 100 war score and they can piece you out even if you would win the war otherwise. But having a fort in Tlemcen will lower it enough that you can resist a lot better. Uh, also build galleys, um, if you can afford it, heavy ships, but you're really poor early on. Uh, galleys are really good at defending this region. Not so good about defending the Straits of Gibraltar. For that, you'll need heavy ships or the Ottomans. Tunis and Morocco have fleets, but they can't compete with Castile's starting fleet. Or even Aragon's. Aragon's in Naples is very strong. Uh, when I attacked, um, I'm trying to think back. I'm pretty sure the strategy was... Um, I struck while they were weak. I remember Castile had gotten into a fight with Aragon or somebody. Um, and I pretty much overran the bottom provinces. You can only take like one or two provinces in the initial peace deals. So I stagged like Sevilla and a couple of these other ones. To form Andalusia, if I remember, you need to own these provinces right here. Uh, I could be entirely wrong, but I'm pretty sure that uh, you actually have to own that one too. So one of Aragon's as well. I think. Um, once you form Andalusia, sadly there's no unique ideas, there's no unique mission tree, although that might change, hopefully, when they update the mission trees. The other thing you should try and do is, during the war with Castile, if you can, uh, try and take a couple provinces from Portugal. If you can, try and get these island provinces, specifically these two, and uh, this province is down here. Faro or Shib, because um, that will prevent Morocco from trying to take them. Be careful when you peace out, though, because I accidentally uh, gave one of them to Morocco on one of my tries. Um, taking Lisbon would be great, because if you can control Sevilla and Lisbon, uh, you'll have massive amounts of trade. Also, if you can get up to uh, Porto up here and take that as well, you'll be in pretty good shape. But, uh, of course, that's difficult. But you will then dominate the Sevilla trade node and can actually start making money. Uh, I decided to actually go exploration for my first idea group, considering I really couldn't fight 
the Iberians without the aid of Tunis, Morocco, and the Ottomans, who were always going to have a stronger military than me, and uh, colonized quite a bit. Some of these are Portuguese provinces. Uh, I got Andalusian Brazil, I got Cuba, which proved to be a great help, I got Mexico, and then I proceeded to overrun the rest of the Mexican region, and Louisiana. Now, it's important to note that anything north of the Mississippi River here, uh, you actually can't get any trade from, although you can steer it from California. Um, that's because the Chesapeake Bay, Ohio, Gulf of St. Lawrence, and Hudson Bay, they all feed trade into Bordeaux trade node or the English Channel trade node, which means if you're going to colonize, colonize down here or invade Africa, because Africa can actually supply a half decent amount of money, and of course it's more land. Anyhow, that's what I decided to do. Next, I went defensive ideas just to keep myself alive. The 15% core creation cost you get from playing Granada is very solid, as is the 15% tax and religious unity and tolerance of heathens. If you, for example, decided to go humanist ideas, you would just be able to tolerate all the Catholics in your realm. You don't actually have to convert Iberia to get the achievement. I just wanted to anyway, uh, just because... Muslim Iberia is rather unusual. Um, you get some trade power, trade steering. Spread of institution is really handy. That's because you will probably get colonialism first, or second, or third, if Castile and Portugal are still really strong, um, which allows you to keep up in tech with them, but the institution spread will help if you get there. Uh, construction, manpower... Uh, prestige and the ideas, none of which are amazing. Prestige helps keeping nations under control. I actually vassalized Portugal in kind of a dumb move. Um, that's why I actually own all these Portuguese provinces. Um, they hated me forever, so you could easily get it done faster than I did, which was like 17-something. Um, it's probably better to just finish off Portugal entirely. Uh, the interesting thing is if you kill Castile, if you start killing Castile, a lot of the times Argonne will ally France and take over the rest of Castile, which involved a long, drawn-out war that still, despite not conquering anything in Europe for over a hundred years, makes France join coalitions and makes Aragon hate me forever. Um, but so long as you keep the Ottomans as allies, keep Tunis as a solid ally, um, you'll never have to deal with them really attacking you per se. Uh, I did have one coalition war where I got betrayed by both the Ottomans and Great Britain, so watch out for that. Um, but the Ottomans should prevent any coalitions from attacking you or even really forming against you. Um, if you're lucky, France dies. If not, France is the biggest nightmare in the world. Um, right now, I think they have something like seven Samad morale, and despite taking defensive ideas, being defender of the faith, having a military advisor, I can only get to 6.6 .6 morale. Um, which is a problem, but if you do do this fort setup here, you have two forts here and one here. Uh, I would have actually shifted this one over if I had known. Uh, you can trap them on fighting on hills or mountains for quite some time, which will allow you to isolate and force them to keep running back and forth around the Pyrenees. It's kind of funny. They can do it, though, so be careful. Um, other than that... Uh, you pretty much do your standard colonialization game since you finished off Castile and Portugal. And uh, you just mass money. Uh, you can make an insane amount of money, so if it comes to it, you can literally just fund a mercenary army to win. Um, Tunis, Morocco, Ottomans, that's who you use. I advise trying to take the coastlines if you can first, or just in general cut off Castile from Aragon or Aragon from France. Uh, that way you don't have to deal with anyone else taking land in Iberia, because to own all of Iberia, you have to own this province, you have to own one of the French provinces or um, starting English provinces, so that means you're going to have one war with France or England. I found the best time to strike is during the HRE religion wars. Uh, you also have to take these provinces down here, Canaries, Madeira, and the Azores, and other than that, just own all of Iberia in general. Um, once you do that, it's just a matter of coring it all, and you've got your achievement. Uh, in my case, I went for it, uh, hard bargaining as well, which means you have to have 
uh, over 50% of the trade control in this region. Uh, it's not particularly hard. You invade, you take over um, pretty much this province, a handful of provinces up here, then you just initialize the propagate religion thing and it will slowly convert it. it takes forever. You can do it as any Muslim, but um, you have to be uh, not Asian in order to do it because it has to be in a trade company region. Uh, essentially, that's it for a guide on Granada, Andalusia. It's not particularly hard. Exploration, defensive, expansion, quality, trade ideas was getting me money. Probably didn't need to go influence or I should have gone it earlier. Um, admin is not really needed because you do have 15% cheaper core creation costs, but it would allow you to take land, more land quicker. Um, the other thing that could be useful is offense, just for the discipline and the better leaders. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Quantity is not particularly needed if you play safely. And build up a fleet. You definitely want to be able to control the Strait of Gibraltar so that Tunis and Morocco can come help you. I had a war where they had to march all the way around the Mediterranean to help me, and it was a nightmare. And that's pretty much it. Get favors with the Ottomans, keep Ottomans happy. If necessary, call the Ottomans to arms to help you in your initial conquest. Or do it while they're occupied in another war. So, thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully this helps you. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, either watch the Let's Play or um, put it below in the comments and I will answer it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.